Hi, you guys. It's your girl, Sweet Pea, and I got a new recipe for you. We're making vegan mushroom burger gun with cauliflower and chickpea mash. It's super hearty. It's pretty easy. So let's go ahead and get started. So first off, we we'll start with the ingredients. I have a whole head of cauliflower. I have a wine for motivation. That's my compost in the back. Don't worry about that. I have some soybean sauce or soy sauce. Um, I have chickpeas. I have vegetable broth. I'm gonna use about a half a cup of that. I got oregano leaves, pink salt. Also, I have a onion and a half, red onion, black pepper. I have about 10 cloves of garlic. I got about a cup and a half of carrots. I got about two cups of celery. I have a little bit of turmeric powder. This actually isn't in the recipe, but I use this for, um, and a lot of recipes for my man for inflammation. I also have a lot of oyster mushrooms and regular um, baby portobello mushrooms. So I'm making a vegan recipe because my man is vegan. So you guys will see a lot of vegan recipes um, on my channel. So I hope you guys enjoy. Let's just start. So first thing first, we're gonna go ahead and heat our pan up. We're gonna add two tablespoons of oil. And the first things that are going in are the onion, the garlic, and the mushrooms, and a little bit of salt. So we're gonna get a pot and put some a little bit of water in it, because this is what our cauliflower and our chickpeas is gonna go in so they get soft so we can um, put them in a food processor and make the mashed potatoes. Then we're gonna add our onions and garlic and all of our mushrooms. We got our oyster mushrooms and our baby portobellos. Vegan, this is delicious. The next thing we're gonna do is add the half a cup of broth. I am going to add that other quarter of the 
vegetable girl. Hey you guys, you know what? Don't judge me. I know I'm kind of winging it. My man tells me all the time I need to stop winging it. But you know, sometimes when you wing it, you fly. While we letting this simmer, we're gonna turn our attention to the cauliflower and chickpea mixture. One thing I forgot to mention was adding the bay leaf. And then you know what? Since I'm using a skillet, I went on and put it on. Um, I got small ones I'm used to. I went on and put it on the simmer. So now, guys, we're going to add our cauliflower mash and chickpea well, our cauliflower and chickpea to our food processor. Rock this joint. Oh, did I put it in there? I did it. Silly <laughs> uh, me. So my blade at the top is not doing a thing, so I'm going to take it out. Definitely need some salt. It's delicious, don't get twisted, but it needs salt. And I'm actually gonna process it again. You know, why not? A little pepper. And then, you know, if you like cheese, if you're a vegetarian, if you're doing this, and you like cheese, add cheese to it. Um, if you're vegan, add vegan cheese. I actually hate using this thing because I hate cleaning it. Whatever. to mention in my mise en place is some greenery. You can either do kale or spinach. I'm going to do spinach. I'm going to do spinach and also some fresh, par fresh parsley. As you know, you want to put this in very last because spinach cooks very quickly. Very, very Do 
see that? It literally took like 30 seconds or something. So I want to thank you guys for joining my recipe today, the mushroom bourguignon with chickpea and cauliflower mash. If you like it, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Let me know what you think. Um, let me know if you think I should make any other recipes or if you made it yourself and maybe I should change something or tell me what you change. Just tell me everything. I want to know it all. So... Sweepy out and thanks again. See you.